Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Elisa and I am back with another video. Today, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be doing a TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul. So I am going to get right on started because there is a lot of stuff that I found this time around. It was a collective haul. I think I took about a month to find all these products and yeah, let's get right on started. So the first item that I have here is this gingerbread all body shimmer. It has a cute little gingerbread girl on the front it says two face all around and cute little gingerbread man and then the girl it's so cute when you open it up oh my god it has this big little pink puff ball and it's so cute so it still has the seal it hasn't been opened yet and i found this at tg maxx for only $14.99 so moving on i did find another Too Faced product i found this sex on the peach set it has two full size products it has a full size mascara and it has a full size per peach perfect um powder and it's the setting powder and then it has a little mini primer and it has a mini setting mist so that is so cool. I cannot believe I found that. I found that at TJ Maxx for $29.99. So the next thing I found by Too Faced was this major hangover primer. And it says it's so big. It's way bigger than the smaller one that I have that's an actual full size. But this one is just like the extra large one. I found this one at Marshalls for $14.99. It's still sealed up. The next thing that I found, I was actually in shock because I did see this at Ulta and it had just came out. And then like a week or two later, I found it at TJ Maxx and it's the Better Not Pout Glossy Set. And I found it for only $16.99 and it's so cool. It's their little holiday collection and I can't believe it was in store right away. It has the shade Peppermint Bark, Eggnog Spice Cake, and Sugar Plum. Oh my god, I cannot wait to play with these. This is so cool. So the next thing was this Gingerbread Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my god. The first one that came out, I think, was just the Gingerbread Shadow Palette. And I didn't get that. I missed out on that one. But this one is the one that they had just released. And I couldn't believe that it was already at Marshall's. And TJ Maxx. I think I've seen it at TJ Maxx as well after I got it at Marshall's. It is so cool. It was only $29.99. It was a little more on the higher end side for TJ Maxx and Marshall's. But you know what? I still get a discount and that's all that matters. So this is the palette. Oops, I had it upside down. This is the palette. And these are the gorgeous shades these are such wearable shades and so i found it for a discounted price at marshall's made me so happy this is such a good steal and the palette has such a cute like cinnamon spiced uh smell it smells so good so for the second to last thing that i found by two Space was the tutti fruity do you foundation i picked mine up in warm beige i really hope i matched myself correctly if not i'm just gonna have to mix it with another shade that i have i did find it for 10.99 at tj maxx and this is how the bottle looks this is do you and as you could tell here the pump hasn't even been used so it's brand new and that was such a good deal as well. The very last Too Faced product that I found was the Too Faced Love Flush Blush. It was found at TJ Maxx for $9.99 only. And I do own one of these already. But I don't own this shade. This is the shade Love Hangover. And the packaging is so freaking adorable. Um, it's this Too Faced in gold in the front. And then when you open it up, it has this little imprint of like some bunnies right here. And it says Too Faced. It's so cute. I wish this could have smelled like something fruity, cause like the rest of their line. But it doesn't. But it's still very adorable with the little heart and everything. And it does have a mirror inside, which is very cute. So moving on to the next brand I found. So I did find Anastasia products. I only found a few. I did find this Anastasia lip gloss set and this one was a surprise to me as well because I did see this at Ulta I believe and to have gotten it for only $12.99 at Marshalls was so freaking exciting. It still sealed with tape so no one has even swatched it or used them. The next thing I found it's this Anastasia loose highlighter. When I saw that I'm like that's so weird I don't think I ever seen them come out with that. And I found it at TJ Maxx for $5.99. But when I opened it up just to make sure it was sealed, when I saw it, I'm like, oh my god. 
this is the highlighter that I've been wanting to use but I didn't want to like go out and like actually buy a full price and when I saw it for only $5.99 I was I was literally out of breath I didn't even understand why it was there because I thought when I saw like reviews about these these were really popular and really good I believe and I haven't used it yet it's still sealed, but I can't wait to try it on. I really wanted to find the pink and gold one as well, but I couldn't get my hands on it, so I only got the one in Snowflake. But it's still exciting because I only got it for way less than half the price than it originally was. For the very last thing that I did find was the Anastasia times Alyssa Edwards palette. And this palette is really crazy, it's really out there because it has all these wild colors. But you know what? It's always good to get out of your comfort zone and try something new. This is how the palette looks exactly like the box. And inside, the brush is in there. And then the shades are so freaking cool. I feel like you can still create like an everyday look with some of the shades. And yeah, I can't wait to dig into this palette. So now moving on, I did find a couple products by the brand NARS. So first thing I have here is this NARS Velvet Lip Glide. And I found it in the shade Swing. And it was found at Marshalls for only $7.99. I'm going to take off the tape. This is how the packaging looks. It looks so fancy. And that's the, the little wand there. I'm going to swatch it really fast. It's such a good everyday kind of pink color. Next, I found this NARS bronzer palette, little mini palette. It's only $16.99 and I found it at TJ Maxx. And it's in the shade Laguna. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of its packaging. So it still has a little NARS sticker thing on it and this is the shade I really hope it's my shade because honestly I just grabbed some things and I'm like you know what I'm just gonna go for it if it doesn't work out for me I'll just give it to someone else the very last thing by NARS that I did find was this NARS blush Narcissist palette it's in the wanted one so these are the shades and I completely forgot to tell you where I found it. So I found it on Marshalls for only $16.99. So next I'm moving on to what I found by Stila. I found this Stila little iridescent set. It comes with three shades here. Two pinks and then a silver color. Found it at Marshalls for $12.99. And it's so weird because I found another set at TJ Maxx for less. It was only $9.99. It's crazy because they're like the same thing. Basically just different colors. This one's a more fiery color, and uh, oh wow, it's called All Fired Up. So these shades look very beautiful. Next, I'm moving on to what I found by Marc Jacobs. So by Marc Jacobs, I found these Fantasy 52 Shade Dew Drops. Focus. The packaging is so cute. And... This is how the bottle looks. It looks so fancy and to have gotten it for that price is unreal. And the pump is new, hasn't been used yet. So the next thing I found by Marc Jacobs was this Recover um, Perfecting Coconut Setting Spray. And I found that at TJ Maxx for only And this is how the bottle looks. It's so cool and I love the scent coconut right now. My candle is the scent coconut. And I really hope that smells like it because that's my favorite scent, like I just said. The last thing by Marc Jacobs was this Marc Jacobs brush. This is the bronze, the number 12. And it's sealed. I cannot believe I found so many things sealed still. So this is how the brush looks. Honestly, when you go to these stores, it's always a hit a hit and a miss because sometimes you'll be looking for something and you get so excited because it's there but then when you open it up you're like who did this who broke this palette who who stabbed it who swatched it like it's such a buzzkill because honestly like you think you found it and it's the very last palette and then someone ruined it so you know let's keep this let's keep this respectful and honestly don't swatch the palette it's just go on your phone and look up how it looks and yeah 
So moving on, I did find two Japanese brushes. I found one in the contour, curved contour, and then I found one in the diffusion powder. And the diffusion powder was found at Marshalls for only $6.99. And then the curved contour was only found for $3.99 at Marshalls. And oh my god, this is so exciting to have found this at Marshalls. But you know what? It was only a bit of a discount. I think it was like 5 or $6 discount. I already know because I know that these beauty blenders go for 20 bucks at Sephora. Found one in black, found one in white. They were $14.99. You know, it was still a little up there, but I really want to try it. And then you normally don't really get discounts at Sephora unless it's like they're 20% off. But you know what? Five dollars, I couldn't pass it up, I had to get both. Next, I found two IT brush cosmetics brushes. I found one in number 704, and it's this kind of curved brush. It was only $14.99. These brushes run for a lot of money sometimes, so $14.99 was nothing to me. And then I found this big powder poofy brush, and this was $14.99 as well. And honestly, I really didn't mind paying $14.99 for this brush. Like I said, it brushes are very up there in price. And $14.99 is kind of like a really good steal. So if you find these, literally grab them because they're really good brushes. So the very last thing, the very last brand that I found was Sigma. When I saw all these Sigma brushes there, I went crazy. I found them different days, but honestly, every time I saw a Sigma brush, I'm like, I'm taking it. I don't care if I wait in those long lines, I'm taking that brush because Sigma brushes are really known and very popular and they're really good quality and they keep its shape for like years, I think. The first set, I found this Sigma cleaner. This is their like soap and then this is their like little uh, mat that you scrub on so you could get out all the dirt, the junk, you know, the foundation and stuff from your brushes. It does come with the brush as well and it's so cute the way it's packaged and everything. When I found this, I almost cried because I love Sigma and you know those prices are up there. I found it at TJ Maxx for $34.99. So next I found three Sigma brush collections. I found one in the detail brush set for only $39.99 at Marshalls. I found the Extreme Color Payoff Kit for $29.99 at Marshalls. And then I went ahead and got the Baking and Shoving Brush Set at Marshalls for $39.99. Oh my God, like I'm saying, my Sigma collection just blew up right now. I have so many Sigma brushes after all these trips to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And if you're on the lookout, literally look every little corner because sometimes people hide them. And I have a few more Sigma brushes. So I found one in the P82, P80 for $7.99, both at Marshalls. Then I found a P84 for $7.99. An E46 for $7.99 as well. And this is a little pointy brush. Then I went ahead and picked up two of these brushes. They're the same exact brush. They're in the F84 Angled Kabuki. I got them because I feel like these would be really good for contour and they were both found at Marshalls for $9.99. And I picked up two of the same brushes by Sigma. They're in the P, I mean F86 for $9.99 each. And I feel like this is really good for my under eyes when I put the powder underneath my eyes so it won't crease. And lastly, I got the F88 Flat Angled Kabuki Brush. And this is really good for foundation, I believe. And it was $9.99 at Marshalls. So those are all the things I have found. I kind of went by really fast because I really wanted to be one video. If it's not possible, I'm going to put two parts. So yeah. So if you made it all the way to the end, I really hope you liked what I got from these two stores. I really hope that this makes you realize that all these products are in store and that you go give it a try and go search and hunt down these products. And if you want me to do a full face of all these products that I bought, let me know down below. And if you liked the video, go ahead and like it, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you know every time I upload a video. So yeah, until next time. Bye.